Well, tonight uh, we are uh, launching uh, a, a very ambitious uh, project, which is uh, the Summit on European Hospital Pharmacy. This will be a, a summit bringing together not only hospital pharmacists, but also patients groups. We will bring together doctors and nurses and discuss together what will be the future of hospital pharmacies pharmacy, what is uh, our role as hospital pharmacists, what do uh, other groups think about hospital pharmacy. The new uh, message is, uh, I think that it's very important uh, for hospital pharmacy to make uh, the work more known, to uh, have more visibility, to make more understandable what we do in hospitals. First, of course, to patients, because the patients are actually our final uh, targeting group. Um, in my view, hospital pharmacy is, is central to the operation of the health service. Um, whether many patients who go, who go to hospital uh, essentially end up taking a, a large number of medicines and then are discharged home. And what we need is a good linkage between hospital and primary care in order for those patients to be able to do well. Simultaneously, when those patients are admitted to hospital from primary care, we need there to be some exchange of information there. We know from international research that in actual fact, these are two crucial times, admission and discharge in the patient's care pathway. Uh, in the Pharmaceutical Care Network Europe, we've seen on many occasions how this influences the quality of the patient's care subsequently and whether or not they will in actual fact make good progress or whether they will suffer complications and then be further admitted to hospital. Or each of these admissions essentially is unnecessary, it's preventable and in addition to that it costs society money. So we need this type of uh, document that we, we're hearing about today uh, to in actual fact ensure that the, those issues are addressed and that the quality of practice improves. In terms of how the summit will operate, there are three things we want to achieve. Firstly, we want to achieve robustly scrutinised statements that have had group, uh, group scrutiny. Secondly, we want to ensure that they are relevant for all the different health systems that exist in Europe. And thirdly, we want to ensure that the patient interest and the perspectives of other healthcare professionals have been part of the process. So our summit will use the Delphi method and consensus voting to come to group decisions on what are the agreed statements for hospital pharmacy in Europe. And they will be vote weighted between 34 member countries of the European Association of Hospital Pharmacists and a mixed weight of professional and patient interest groups. You asked me why is the outcomes of this summit important to us here in Ireland. Ireland. Well, we're going through a major, major programme of change in the delivery of hospital pharmacy services with the implementation of the review report on hospital pharmacy services that was agreed by the Department of Health, the Hospital Pharmacy Association and the Health Service Executive in 2011. This outlines major uh, changes in the way that services are delivered and the change in the career structure for hospital pharmacists. However, in the transformation of, uh, in the transformation of services, I uh, think one of the key components of pieces of work that need to be done is the development of national standards for hospital pharmacy services. So therefore, the outcome of the summit will be very important to us when we start to undertake that work. The FIP, Hospital Pharmacy Section, created the Basel Statements in 2008. We developed a, a set of 75 statements that reflect the future vision of hospital pharmacy as we see it for the globe, for the world, uh, around the, f the future of hospital pharmacy. We're interested in working with the AHP to develop uh, and help develop uh, a very specific European approach 
to the Basel Statement and to uh, improve hospital pharmacy practice throughout Europe. So hello, my name is Tia Mati and I'm, I'm the president of EPSA, so the European Pharmaceutical Students Association. Uh, as our association represents all the potential for the different pharmaceutical uh, sectors, we're definitely very enthusiastic about this initiative as well and, and would like to be part of it as observers and, and definitely looking forward to that. Today is a, a gathering of a European summit on hospital pharmacy and I actually came around to see how it could be of importance to my country, Nigeria, because I observed that we've not been involved in global advanced advocacies for advancements in pharmacy practice, okay, as far as uh, FIP is concerned. So I think my attendance here is quite fruitful. I've got a lot of challenges and I'm really inspired. I'm from Sydney, Australia and it's fantastic to be in Dublin, in Ireland. It's my first time to this country. It's been very fun. FIP is always a great congress but I've never been to Ireland and this has been a fantastic one. The hospital pharmacy section of FIP is very interested in making sure that the Basel statements become live statements and don't stay uh, on the shelves of people in hospital pharmacy but they're actually practised. And through that we want to make sure that there's some rigorous research around those and they're implemented and, and I think the hospital pharmacy section are very excited about the initiative that EAHP are taking and uh, we want to learn and work together with EAHP to make these statements come alive. Uh, we as uh, the Maltese Association of Hospital Pharmacists, it's a new member of EAHP, in fact it's, uh, it's been a member for the past three to four months and I think it's a great time for us to be uh, to be a participant in the summit so that we can uh, um, even put forward our opinions and even uh, our um, uh, colleagues, uh, um, Maltese colleagues from the hospital from that work in the hospital can uh, put forward their, their opinion and will, uh, our views will be implemented, eventually will be implemented from the, uh, from the outcomes of the summit. It was a very interesting summit. There was a lot of information which could be applied also to the Maltese pharmacy setting. Uh, for pharmacy in Europe I think we have um, a great deal, a great challenge for the future. We are trying to do some cooperation with this association, this European Association of, of Hospital Pharmacists. We will be in contact with Mr. Roberto Frontini from this president of this association and you expect a lot of work together in cooperation because uh, our patients need that. The patient's safety, the access to the medicines, there are common problems across, uh, all across the Europe, the Europe and I think we can do better if we work together.